What's up guys, it's your boy Ruin. we are back for another Tales of Arise review video and this time up to bat we have got this morning's 25th anniversary livestream for Tales of, specifically focusing on the Tales of Arise content here. And we've got quite a bit of stuff to look at over here, y'all. More than just the opening, which by the way, opening, perfection, beautiful, gloriness, magnificent, okay? The collector's edition is the only option here that's available that has this figure. The premium edition is basically the collector's edition minus the figurine. So if you liked all of the other stuff that was available in the collector's edition, but that that figurine, you kind of like, you're like, oh, this doesn't look that great. I'm not really a, a figurine collector type of person. I don't really care for that. But you want the promo art, you want the music CDs, you want the art book, you want all of this other stuff, then you can get the premium edition. Here we've got the deluxe costume edition and you're going to be getting obviously the game as well as all the different customizable options, right? Your different attachments. So like pretty up your characters, get a little bit more attached. So if you're the kind of person that really likes having customizability with their characters, changing up their fashion, the way they look so you can bond with them more closely, deluxe costume edition is going to be the one for you. Now with the deluxe edition, that's not limited to just costumes. You're also going to be getting additional content as far as Premium travel packs, adventures pack, like cooking stuff, equips, accessories. For me personally, I don't have, I don't see any value in this. Just because if you, if you literally just play the game for like an extra 20, 30 minutes in a, in a single like playing session, you could easily make up for not having this extra materials. Like I, I see no value in spending your dollars on getting adventuring things. You know what I'm saying? Like getting food. So getting additional recipes, like I'm pretty sure if you talk to NPCs, you could get just mundane recipes and that should be more than enough. Now, if you're a music person, Deluxe Sound Edition may be your route. Obviously, we got the game, but you're also going to be getting the background music pack. For the costume Deluxe Edition and the music, the Deluxe Edition, I'm not sure if that's specific to Japan and if that's not going to be available English-wise. Because if you look at the place right now, none of that's here. But that just could just be that it's not live yet. I don't know. Ultimate Edition is basically the uh, Deluxe Edition, but a little bit souped up. The main additional content you'll be getting out of this Ultimate Edition right here is pretty much just these. That's it. A collaboration costume pack, 18 additional costumes, and then you're also going to be getting uh, music background packs. And I'm basing that off of this image. Right here. Right? This image right here. From 85 to 110, not worth it, fam. Do not do this. Okay, Ultimate Edition is a skip. Skip that. No, don't. 18 additional costumes, pre-order bonus. Like, um, I, I, in my opinion, it's a, it's a skip. Like, do, that's, that's a waste of money to me. If you're not a huge collector person and, and you're not, you don't got, you don't got stacks to burn. You know what I'm saying? You're not loaded with extra greens. You don't have trees growing in your room, and leaves are falling off in order to burn through stacks of paper on a collector's edition. I definitely think the route you'd want to go is to get the standard edition, get the game. And if you're interested in either the music packs or you're interested in the costume packs, get them as DLC. Because that way, if you wait and you don't get it, you're also giving yourself flexibility. And flexibility is massive. The band that performed the opening music-wise is called Kankaku Pirio. They performed, and apparently they performed the opening for Black Clover. So they do have an official Twitter. They are verified. They do have over 68k followers, so you know. And they've got, they've they been tweeting, they've been active, you know what I'm saying? They've, they've been covering Tales of Arise. They got some activity here, bunch of stuff I can't read. They got some pictures, so they've been putting in work, you know what I'm saying? They've, they got some credentials, you know, you know, they got some credentials. So they do have a website. Got a bunch of different things here. I kind of looked into it, but not really, because, I mean, like, dude, I can't read none of this. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, they have credentials. Black Clover OP, they've done covers for like Naruto Shibuden stuff. Like they did covers for a bunch of anime openings. So they have they have put in some work. The visuals are amazing, fam. It is an artistic masterpiece. Once again, UFO table spazzed out. Okay, run it. So this right here, the way it started, I love how it starts. Alfin cues in, looking saucy, looking drippy. You know what I'm saying? This is the beginning, if I'm not mistaken, fam. This is the beginning of the opening. How far are we into this right here? How far are we into this? About 20 seconds or something like that? And uh, the first two characters we see is Blossom and Alpin. In the sunsets. In a nice sunset rise on the canyons. A nice, uh, beautiful view. UFO table. Oh, uh, fabulous job. With Blossom and his opening. Let's go. 
And then this right here. Oh, that, he, he's, that one's got some sauce. Don't get it twisted. He's got some drip. Okay, he's the main protagonist for a reason. Don't get it twisted. And then we have this. We have this outlook. Love this outlook. So I'm thinking right here, maybe it's like a split thing. So even though they're not in the same realm, they're not on the same planet, it's two different planets. This area looks darker to me, and this area looks lighter. You know what I'm saying? Invaded by the Fire Nation. Deep Fire Nation. So I definitely think the reason, even though it's not like they're in the, they're not in the same spatial location, the same physical space. I definitely think their their method of animation here is definitely to show like the different two sides. I really like this. I love this right here. Cause remember, Alfin doesn't have he lost his memories. He's kind of like in a blank slate. So that's kind of what this glitching, kind of glitching, is representing right here. It's kind of him like tripping out, right? He doesn't know what he's processing. So I definitely want to know who who he's visioning here. Is it Blossom or could it be a, a major problem that he's thinking of? Again, oh, and then that that switch up, that switch up. Oh, gotta run that back. Got to run that back. Again, throughout this entire opening, the const one of the constant themes here is the connection between Alfin and Blossom. And it immediately transitions to this. Glitches out and immediately transitions to this right here. Now, this right here could be like her people. You know what I'm saying? This right here could be her people, her family, and then she's 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 having a flashback. She's having a painful flashback. Cause look at her eyes, look at this. Her hands are shaking and look at look at the pain on her face. Look at the pain on Blossom's face. Oh my chest. Ah, ah please. Look at the emotions. And also we got the lightning here. So I'm thinking, I still think that this this lightning situation of how whoever comes near her and touches her, like they get inflicted by this damage. And that's why like the Danans look down upon her. I definitely think it's some sort of defense mechanism. Look at her. Look at her. Leveled up. Leveled up. Let's get it. I feel like this is depicting her moving on from her past. I'm thinking this is her moving on from her past and she's moving forward to the next step, the next phase of her journey. And then right here, represent. Oh, 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 oh. We'll, we'll talk about this part in a second. We'll talk about this part in a second. But representation, representation. You gotta love it. The way they animated D Dahalim in this OP as well, dude. He, this dude has got, dude. He's got flavor. Okay. Like, look at her. Look at Captain Kisara Shield Mommy's face over here. Look at that emotion. Look at her eyes. And I love the color of her hair. This. I love that. Like you can tell exactly how she's feeling. Continue. This right here is adorable. Rinwell is not my top character, but she's cute. Oh, no, this guy, this guy. Hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. I gotta pause, I gotta pause, I gotta pause. Like, look at him. And then he yells. <sighs> letting out all of his inner, letting out all of his inner frustrations, fam. So you can really tell that he was serious. He's seriously in internally just tearing it apart. And then this right here, this right here, I love this scene so much. I absolutely adore this scene. Blossom, hello, Blossom, Blossom, Blossom. How are you doing? How are you doing? Why are you gonna? Why are you looking at me? Why are you looking at my soul like this? Why are you looking at my soul? I did nothing, okay? I'm sorry. I, I even betrayed Velvet. I betrayed my noir for you. I betrayed her. I literally took her punishment. She clawed me just for you. Why are you staring at my soul? Why are you staring me down? I'm sorry, okay? This is classic. This is classic right here. So one thing right here is what I gotta know. So right here, Alfin is, you know, pulling out the flame torch sword out of Blossom's mune. You know what I'm saying? Her sternum. Her Muna area. I love that. Don't know what this orb is about, but okay. So my question with this flame torch sword, is it like a heirloom? Like, is it like an ancient legendary weapon that's been passed down by generation and it fell upon Blossom and she's entrusting it to Alfin or her potential quote unquote former lover, current lover, whatever the situation they've got going on. What is the deal with the sword, y'all? Blossom, I love her. I love him. I love this game. This is all just fantastic, fam. It's all just great. And look at this. I love this. So that right there, blazing. Blazing. Now look at this. Look at this. Look at this. That. I love this. I love that. He pulls out the sword. And the way he just holds her and the way he looks at her. And then, dude, he's, dude, the outfit. My man. Let's get it, fam. Let's go. Let's go. Alright. 
After I play this game, honestly, I think this is gonna be my number one couple right here. So you know what? You know what, fam? Run it back. I'm gonna play it without the face scan. Let's do it. Let's do it. That transition is just phenomenal. Like, look at this dude popping off. Pop off, Alfred. Let's go. Blazing Demon over here. We got Renwell putting in the work, putting in her magical work. Blossom, 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 Blossom. Finally, a smile. And they're all just popping off. They all just popped off right there. Let's gotta run it. We gotta run it back. We gotta run it back. And look at this. Look at this. She's not gonna leave it all up to the party. She's not gonna leave it all up to Alfin to come save the day. She's about that smoke. She's got a rifle and she's not afraid to use it. She's got the bullseye mark. All right, checkmates. Alfin, turn me up. Alfin, turn me up. Woo With the magic, with her spell book. Load up then, load up, pop up. Blast this doggy. Blast the doggy. Puppy sits. Puppy sit down. Law, law, law. So he's surrounded. Let's run it back. Starting up for this, and this right here is a PFP. This right here is a PFP, and it is mine, actually, on Twitter. And I just love it. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Now, let's, let's see. Let's see. Let's see Law exact order and put the hammer down. Put your hammer down. You're the judge, Law. Put in that word. Put in that word. Oh, block, block. You can't touch me. Boom. Go in. Yes, sir. Eat. Take his foot to the face and then shield mommy, Kisara. Kisara comes in like the true shield mommy of this game, protecting, protecting the squad. Protecting the squad. Run it back, run it back, run it back. Run my run it, run this ish back. Look at him. Look at him. Let's see the let's see law again. We're in we're in law school. We're in class. We're in session. Class is in session. Let's see him teach us. Teach us. Let's go. Run it back again. Right back, right back from here. Right back from here. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. You can't touch me, boo -hoo, boo -hoo. Take his foot to the face, shield mommy, protection. Y'all see this right here? Y'all see that? Y'all see this? That's not for show, okay? That's not there for show. She puts in the work in the gym. She hits her. She hits the gym every day. She puts in the work. She hits her leg day especially. She hits her squat. She hits her deadlift. She hits her pull-ups and everything. And look at her fierceness, okay? She hits. She puts in the work. Oh, protect, protect. And there we go, dialing, dialing with the sauce. Darlene with the bosa. Look at that dude. Look at him. Representation, fam. Chest last for everybody. Representation. Representation. They really do. They do. He. They. They gave him some spice. He. They gave him some curry spice. Are you serious? Representation coming with the sauce. Coming with that curry flavor. Work that bow. Work that bow. Ooh, eat that. Eat my. Eat the blood on my bow stab. Eat the stick. Eat the stick. Who is this? What is that behind her? What is that behind her? Who is this and what is this behind her? Because that thing is a problem. Who is this dude? What is this guy? He, he also gives me vibes of a problem. And then that right there, lightning strike. And a dude, oh my goodness, the mystery man. Honestly, I want to know what it, I, th I feel like he has a connection with Alfin in some way. Somehow, some way, some manner, kind of like similar to Sephiroth and Cloud. That sort of connection. I think from Final Fantasy VII. Look at this, look at this. Alfin, literally, literally him fighting Alfin, literally. So I definitely think there's something going on here. And this is fire. This is fire. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. He has got all the sauce. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Let's go. Let's go. Slash it up. Slash it up. Turn me up. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go, Alfin. There you go, buddy. Oh my goodness. Then the ending. The ending for the opening just literally had love in the air. And then this panning right here with everybody. That panning right here with everybody. Soccer pedals in the sky, the way they pan out from them. They have the dude, the squad is so amazing. I love how every chance they get, they always try to get Kisara's like from the backside view. They they, they know what they're doing. You for table and the Tales of the Rise producers, they know what they're doing. Now we got a couple of gifts thanks to Ad 21 And this right here is the greatest gift of all time. This right here is the greatest gift of all time that I've ever seen. I love that I love that sequence so much. Pulling out the sword, pulling out the legendary weapon out of the Munet. Holding her, looking into her eyes, Sakura Blossoms just flowing past them and cutting into the next part of the opening. This right here was the best part. I love this so much. I love that so much. So good. So good. Cutscenes are going to look under- I definitely think- I, I'm definitely going to stream. I've, I've made my decision. I am definitely going to stream this game because it will be way more hyped than uh, videos. And if I get claimed, I get claimed. I don't even care. I'm going to do it for y'all. I'm going to make it happen. Because it's going to be fire. I'm going to be losing my, my mind. I'm going to go nuts. Okay, I'm going to go insane. Look at that. Sure. Last but not least, shout out to the homie and sub, Mad Kaiser, for tweeting this out. I mean, look at this. He, he, he portrayed this perfectly in the in the exact order. He portrayed this perfectly with the exact order you want to look at this. From top left to top right to bottom left to bottom right. If you look at it this way, just look at them. 
both looking away with the same sort of solemn, solemn look. And then they both look at each other. Let me know in the comment section your thoughts on um, what additions you're gonna get. Which, what you thought about those. Uh, what about the opening? Did y'all like the opening? Did you guys like the music mainly? Because I couldn't put the music in here. Did you guys like the music for the opening? What did you guys think of the opening as a whole entire whole package? And yeah, that's everything. This game is gonna be phenomenal, y'all. I'm telling y'all right now. That's it, fam. Thank you guys for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy the video, then smash that dang like button. Have a great rest of your day. Good luck with Monday. Good luck with your week, school, work, whatever y'all got going on. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Peace.